Now for our story. When Sergeant Bill Meade arrived at the Lane Farm this evening, he found Lefty Larkin waiting at the gate for him. Lefty, who already knew that Bill had seemingly changed his mind about asking Kit for a divorce. Lefty, who was determined to find out just what sort of game Bill was playing with Peggy Douglas. Aunt Mary believed that there was some reason for Bill's puzzling behavior, but Lefty didn't agree with Aunt Mary. A belief that was confirmed for him by his talk with Sergeant Meade. Bill's stubborn refusal to discuss the situation only infuriated Lefty the more. After Bill had gone up towards Aunt Mary's, the storm broke and drove Lefty to his own little house. Sitting in his old leather chair, Lefty began to have misgivings. Perhaps he'd been too hasty with Bill, had said all the wrong things. Maybe he should have left it up to Aunt Mary. But he hadn't been able to control his desire to protect Peggy. A very natural attitude for a father to have towards a girl he knows is his daughter. As he so often did, Lefty wondered how it would have changed the course of events if he had told Peggy and Aunt Mary the truth that day 15 years ago when he first came to this little farm. Lefty sat for some time, tracing back in the past for the things that were happening now, and wondering and worrying about the future. Then, suddenly throwing his old raincoat around his shoulders, Lefty ran up the slope to the farmhouse. Who's that? Lefty? Yeah. Well, come on in. Just a minute. I gotta hang this coat up somewhere so it won't drift all over the place. Sure is a hard rain. Yes, I, I thought at first it was going to be just one of those quick summer showers. A lot of noise and no moisture. I expect this will keep up all night. The electricity's working again. Yes, I know. But I like a kerosene lamp. It makes such a nice, soft light. Yeah. Aren't you going to sit down? Yeah. Well... Well, what? I've been hating to ask what happened. Thought maybe I could get an idea from your attitude, but even that don't tell me much. What are you talking about, Lefty? Where's Peggy? Upstairs in her room. And Bill? He's gone. When did he leave? Oh, about half hour ago, I'd say. How did you know he was here? I met him down by the front gate. Didn't he tell you? I didn't see him. You didn't? No, I'd come in the house. Next thing I knew, the rain started. I was coming downstairs from closing windows when I saw Peggy standing by the front door. She came in here. And you know, I thought she seemed a little... Well, strange. So he did hurt her. I knew he would. You'd think that by this time, a man, well, by the time he got to his late 20s, he'd have stopped blundering around, walking rough shot over people. But I suppose it's, it's because Bill's about as sensitive as a hunk of rock. Lefty. It'd have been much kinder to Peggy if he hadn't come here at all. I tried to tell him that when we talked down by the gate. I told him he ought to go away, leave her alone. I see. You take on like this, make these... His positive statements, and you don't even know what happened. Yes, I do. I've known what would happen since the day I went into town to see Bill. And from the little you said, I have a pretty good idea. He didn't give Peggy any explanation, did he? No. And Kit's not going out west to get a divorce. Evidently not. Yeah. Yeah. It's a shame. A darn shame that Peggy wasn't giving some sort of warning. Aunt Mary, you should have prepared her. You should have told her. No. No, I couldn't have, because I simply didn't know. Uh, how about your faith in Bill Mead now? I still have it. You can't mean that, Aunt Mary. How can you? That young man has brought Peggy nothing but trouble. 
He makes a wreckage out of her life a second time, and just when she's managed to struggle and build a fresh start for herself. You can have faith in a boy like that? Yes. Yes, I can. I don't understand your attitude in this. You can still think well of Bill Mead? You can still think of marriage in connection with him and Peggy? Oh, now, wait a minute. Lefty, I didn't say that. You're making the very same mistake as Peggy. Ever since Bill's been married to Kit Calvert, I've never even thought of him in connection with Peggy. Oh, I know, but... Well, go on. Even when he came to Peggy the other day and told her that he'd known for a long time his marriage wasn't all it should be and said he was going to divorce Kit. Even then, Lefty, I didn't think of marriage in connection with Bill and Peggy. All I said was that if Bill really had made a mistake, it was his to rectify, to solve. As far as he and Peggy were concerned, well, that would be something for them to work out, if possible. You should know that, Lefty, from the talks we've had. I also told you I had some misgivings as to Bill and Peggy's being together while he's still married to Kit. Yeah. All I'm saying now about Bill is that I disagree with you and Peggy when you say that he's lacking in sincerity. Is that what she thinks, too? She says she thinks that. You see, her attitude is that, well, if you were honest about wanting to divorce Kit, what could there possibly be that Bill wouldn't tell her? And she's right. Well, maybe, but I don't think so. A man such as I believe Bill is would feel that no matter what Kit has done, that he had a certain duty toward his wife, that he owed her certain protection. No, Lefty, I'm very much inclined to believe Bill. That there's something about this he isn't free to discuss with Peggy. Is that all he told her? Well, he implied that. He didn't actually say so. From what Peggy told me, I gathered that he just asked her to try to be understanding and patient. Yeah, that's swell, isn't it? Peggy's supposed to be understanding and patient while he goes ahead as he always has. And Mary, I tell you, that boy's no good. In the first place, anyone who could be taken in by Kit Calvert's technique is a fool. No, Lefty. Well, it's the truth. And I'm not so sure that Bill isn't right where he belongs, with the Calverts. The only thing that gets me is that, well, that Peggy is so wrapped up in him. It's partly her own fault. We both advised her not to jump to conclusions, not to plan too far ahead, but to wait and see. It's all right to dream, but you have to make them out of something solid. Dreams need a foundation. Yeah, I suppose so. Do you think I should go up and see her? Well, of course, if you want to. But what do you think? Should I? Well, I think maybe it would be a good idea if we let her alone for a little while. Give her a chance to think things over for herself. How do you think she really took it? Well, first reactions aren't always true, and so it may be a little early to say. She was very bitter. You see, it's hard for her because she said she couldn't believe him, and yet she loves him. Poor kid. She told me that she intended to get rid of any feelings she had for Bill. I'm glad to hear that. If you ask me, that's the best thing she could do. I, I think she... Uh, wait a minute, Lefty. Peggy? Yes? Are you all right? Yes, Aunt Mary, of course I'm all right. Peggy, where are you going? No place in particular. Do you mind I'm going to take the car for a little while? The car? Why, dear? Where are you going? Oh, I'm, I'm kind of restless. Do you mind? No. But Peggy, driving around in this weather, it, it don't make sense. Oh, it's not that bad. And it's not so late. But why do you want to go out? I don't think you should. Oh, don't worry about me, Lefty. I'm all right. May I take the car, Aunt Mary? Why, of course, dear. Um, have you any idea where you'll be going? No place in particular, just towards town. I shan't be gone long. All right, Peggy. Take care. And Peggy Douglas might do very well to heed her aunt's warning. Why didn't you tell Aunt Mary what you were going to do, Peggy? Why didn't you tell her that you were going after Bill? 
that you hope to catch up with him before he gets home. Well, it looks as if you decided that something's better than nothing. And somehow, Peggy, I don't believe Aunt Mary would agree with that attitude. <laughs> 